Hello everybody, Common Gemini Jets 21 here, and I'm back with another plane review. Today we're going to be doing a 737 Max 8 Southwest review. Southwest. Um, so, uh, I said that last Friday that I'd be making a Southwest review, and so here it is. Um, quick update on this board. And I'll probably always have the plane on the board or something like that, or my other board, but yep. Yeah. Start to get grass down, so yeah. That is a quick update. So um, yeah, this is the seven three seven Max eight, and um, let's get into it. Here we have the box. Um, it's a okay box. I'm not a big fan of it. I like the blue boxes more. I think I had another plane. That had the, it might have been my 787. But yeah, I just like the blue boxes. It looks better. But this is the 20th anniversary version. So, yeah. Um, it's a, uh, I, yeah, I don't know why. I just like the blue boxes more. I just think it looks like the sky, <laughs> kind of. Um, I like blue. So this is the 20th anniversary version box um because they were founded in 1998 it's the 20th anniversary this one does not have the one that has like the flap up where it's like look inside but other than that it's a it's back of the box right here realize it is and that would be the box so now let's get into the plane all right so here is um the plane. I did turn on a light here so you can kind of get a better view. Sorry, I'm messing with my mic here. There we go. Um, so I did turn on a light on so you can kind of see it more. Um, so uh, we're going to first look off on the left side. Left side, um, the plane is a tiny bit shorter than in A320, but it is wider. The Max 8. And here, let me grab an A320 really quick. Alright. So, yeah. It is a tiny, well, if, here, how do I try to, so, there's that, and you can kind of see, Southwest is a little bit lower to the ground and is a tiny bit shorter, but it is wider, and that's why they call it a wide body. And this is a Boeing, this is the Airbus, which are two different man man manufacturers of planes. So, yeah, um, there's that. Just show you that how the A320 is a little bit longer and it's higher above the ground. And that, that was a Neo, so it's not an A320. So it might be a little bit different. But uh yeah, let's um get into the review here. So um we have the the engines are about the size of an A three twenty engine. Uh smaller than the Neo engines because Neos are bigger engines on uh Airbuses. And it does have a smaller engine, but it has pretty good um quality and there you can if I can zoom in and try to get a light there. You can kind of see the fan blades. I don't know if you can see them. You can kind of see the fan blades in there. You got the nose cone of the fan blades. Which, I, the nose cone, I don't know what you call that. Uh, you can leave a comment in the comment section because I forgot what those are called. So if you want, if you know what those are, leave it, tell me in the comment section. Um, up here we have the Wi-Fi, which um, it, airlines can choose it if they want to have it, like on their planes. But so when they order it, they just say like, "Can I get a Wi-Fi cap?" And that gives Wi-Fi on the plane. Um, we do have what are these called? They are not winglets. Well, they're they're different. On Boeing, they have these. On Airbus, they have these guys which they are taller, but they both just help with fuel efficiency 
um, aerodynamics and stuff like that to save money. Um, this would be the newer livery of Southwest, the 2015-2016 livery. Um, Southwest has a bunch of liveries, like, like by state. They have their old livery, which the the older livery and the newest livery are the most common. But they also have like Florida, Seattle, all those different liveries. Um, it's a pretty nice plane. Uh, it's got the Southwest logo. It looks. It doesn't. It it didn't really have any problem. I didn't have any problems with the plane. It's pretty stable. It's, it ha nothing's fallen off it yet. Um, if we look at the front here, we have the uh, cockpit windows. It's pretty nice. Oh, I have that glare. Sorry. Uh, they do not have the windshield wipers design on the front of them like others do. It might, but it just doesn't in this. So yeah, now on the other side, it's gonna kind of be the same as the left side. We do have the oh, that one has the other side too. We have the American flag. Oh, we have the Southwest logo up here, which is a heart. And the card Southwest just is yellow, red, and blue. Yellow, red, blue, and um, American flag is somewhere. And then we have the identification code, which is November eight seven zero fit. 8706 whiskey. So N8076W. And they use those as, um, they use military alphabet. And some of you might know what that is. It's basically where you use words for, um, letters. So, like, B is Bravo, and D is Delta. And that's so, like, if you say B, they don't get it mixed up with D because B and D kind of sound the same. And that's just so it doesn't get mixed up or anything. So the wings, um, for the overhead view here, it's having trouble focusing today. This is an iPad. Might have already said that, but yeah. Uh, you have the overwing exit arrows. Oh, that's just showing. Uh, oh, I forgot. What does that show? It shows something. It's ridiculous. You have the flap fairings right there three on each wing. Uh, you have the engine holder right there. You have the winglet looking things right there. And uh, yeah. So it, oh yeah, one more thing. Wait, no, sorry for the background. So yeah, that's it, I guess. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll try to think of something to do on either Friday or Monday. Sorry I didn't make a video on Friday. But uh, yeah, so I'll try to think of something. And I'll be surprised. So Friday or Monday. Uh, have a great week, everybody. And uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.